Oh, <laughs> did I? Is he dead? Jer? Jer, are you over there? Oh, I should look at the dang trailer. People are all saying, um, the Iron Giant. I'm like, what? Iron Giant? What? I, I, what? Strange energy signature detected. Not in full. Computer, what's my location? Kevin Conroy. Hey, dude, what's going on here? <laughs> this drops him. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Look out! Yeah. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> what I do to you? Damn, <laughs> ultra shaggy. <laughs> That's a good combo. Uh, you're gonna pay for attacking. Harley <laughs> loves Taz. I realize these are all like all of them are like moves in the game. happening here but this looks like a job for Superman. all right then you're with me that's a good trailer That's a good, that's a good trailer, right? In terms of just like what they're, what they're going for, what they're putting on the table, you know? Like that, that is a, that is an effective, like you feel great at the end of it, you know? Like what a great trailer. And it's, it's nice that the game actually exhumes the same quality of like character interaction and all that stuff. Yeah, it feels like it's got a budget, you know? Feels like they're putting their money where their mouth is and they're kind of confident this will do well, even in a situation where the game's free, you know? And I, I guess what my prediction is, I, I predict it's gonna go pretty well. <laughs> One thing I've been really impressed by this game that we gotta, I, I wanna check out has been, no kidding, like, cause every, everyone immediately jumps into the matches and immediately starts like, um, canceling moves into moves and all that kind of stuff. I've been watching other streams play this game. I've been really impressed by the character animations. No joke. I think it's been very good looking, especially certain characters like Tom and Jerry. Uh, it shows like a level of, of polish that I'm like, damn, these are some, this is, this is a much different take on the Smash Brothers-esque like, like animations uh, for fighting games. It's a much different take. It's a very Looney Tunes take, you know, which makes perfect sense. Here we are. We, we've done it, right? I know all of you guys are very familiar with this, but this is all relatively new to me. So I really have wanted to check this out because what is multiverses, right? So number one, this game is a 2v2 focused, right? Not just 2v2. There's 1v1s. There's there's four player modes as well. Um, but it's a 2v2 focused free to play Warner Brothers slash DC slash any Warner anything uh, platform fighting game smash like. And what, what have we been, just been talking about over the past month or so? Right? Where it's like, huh, if fighting games are going to to do this whole situation where they're going to be free to play in some way, right? Um, how is how do they approach that? If it's going to be actually not free to try, right? Like like some fighting games have, like Killer Instinct, that's like one thing. 
but actually free to play fighting games how is it going to work okay so fundamentals um just get an idea it's a very snappy game right i'm just playing on a ps4 controller this is a very snappy game up does not jump like this game moves quick dude damn i'm actually kind of blown away by how how quickly the game moves and how good the animations still look in this situation you know he has his old goofy hanna barbera stoner run right he does have it and he's schmoving <laughs> dodges can be used to move quickly than enemy attacks so b is dodge Ooh, that's weird to me so that's spot dodge wow okay so dodge doesn't have like it doesn't have like a blue stuff so here's the weird thing about this game from what i remember no blocking and no grabbing so it's specifically about character mobility and essentially movement, right? You just have to move your ass all over the place. Then there's no ledge grabbing as well. Wow. Does Brawlhalla or Rivals or anything else sort of resemble that in some way? Because it's a very interesting take. So uh, it puts regular attack over here, neutral ground. Interesting that the, the neutral ground is actually like a smash attack, right? Neutral ground is actually a, a strong one. And I have to press forward to get the uh, the weaker attacks, the combo. Okay, so then there's the special button. Okay, the devs did say that uh, Shaggy is essentially like the base of the game. They sort of revolved a lot of the game around him. So he is the actual Shoto, right? Shaggy is indeed today confirmed to be a goddamn Shoto. So neutral special is my uh, uh, Super Saiyan move. Hilarious. Oh, did you just pull a sandwich out of the ground? That's kind of disgusting, man. Wait a minute. I've seen big sandwiches. He just has Shoryuken. I've seen people throw giant sandwiches. And I'm like, what is with the giant sandwiches? So, okay. Only so many air actions, right? Double jump. Kick. Kick. And there's like, games like, no more. Right? Uh, that's a bit too much. So, okay, so fast falling definitely works. Look at this. But if you press down during it... Cool. So here's the interesting thing. It comes out no matter what. Right? Even if I... Even if I'm really close to the ground, it will still come out. Uh, it doesn't... Like, the landing lag or the landing animation does not uh, interrupt what you would normally be doing. That's interesting. Yeah, aerials cannot get canceled. Cannot get, or cannot get interrupted by the ground. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! So I'm doing jab, jab, down, uh, like tilt down into up special. Watch this. That's pretty neat. Uh-oh, she dead. What? Okay. The music feel sounds like I'm in a uh I'm in a theme park, right? The music sounds like I'm at a Six Flags and I've just entered a new land, you know? I, I don't know if that's what they were going for. But it really feels like I'm at like a, a Disney park or, or like a universal park. Oh, that is the most grid looking grid. I'm gonna do whatever I can on my personal ability to never play on the grid. This one's got extra punch. Wow. Wow, okay. You can use dodge to cancel the jabs? What is this? Def Jam fight for New York? Interesting. Very interesting. Jab, jab, and then you press dodge. Neutral dodge. But if you use the same attack repeatedly, it gets weaker. Oh, so it has attack decay. Oh, it is says it literally says attack decay. Wow. Okay, is this on PlayStation? It is. Yeah, it's PlayStation. 
uh, Xbox as well as Switch. The closed alpha is actually for all versions right now. Okay, so let's just see some other stuff because I've been looking at the Shag Lord for a while now. Wow. Taz is so well animated, dude. He peppers you up? That's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> Look at him hold these sandwiches together. <laughs> Look at his mouth when he does this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm already... I'm already seeing a lot of the old WB charm here. Jeez, that's got a lot of bite. I'm a father. I have to see how crazy this is, right? I just have to see how absolutely insane Tom and Jerry is. I need to witness this. How crazy is Tom and Jerry? So, I get it, right? Their gimmick is that they follow each other around and they're always fighting. So in every situation, if you look at them, they're always like at each other's heels. That's cute. Okay. Dude, I think Tom and Jerry might go down as one of the best animated fighting game characters there is. And maybe not in just like practical execution, but in concept, you know? Like animation's a lot more things than just like, you know, oh, how smooth do it look? It's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. I mean, as somebody that studied animation for like a solid s nearly 10 years of my life, this is, these guys are really, I'm, I'm kind of blown away by how crazy these character rigs are and how effectively they're getting this done. <laughs> Jerry's death screams. I'm sorry, Tom's death screams in the show are always some of the funniest stuff, man. So how do I separate Jerry from Tom? Oh, there we go. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'll just stick him on a rocket. Oh, did I? Is he dead? Jer? Jer, are you over there? So, uh, from, from this position, right? They do, oh, they do stuff together now. Dude, feels like my blood sugar is getting low. <sighs> then I get him back. And then he gets him back. That is so cool. They put a lot of love into these characters, yeah. You feel the budget, right? You feel the budget by how much time they were able to spend with each character, you know? You could feel how much they, they really wanted to throw as much personality as possible. I mean, that's the thing, Chad. It's possible to have... It's possible to have relatively high budget free to play games that are fighting games that that can those things can coexist you're, you're literally seeing it is it on the same budget as like a, a, a mortal Kombat or something no very different right where they're going to be spending a lot of that money is going to be very different and we'll see when this eventually comes out in like july how the free to play part of it is going to really pan out and the characters like outfits and costumes that seem might might be where they're gonna where it's gonna be the thing that is the monetary change you know free to play cross play rollback netcode and potentially a crazy roster like because here's the thing from from the default roster the way it is right now there's no characters that immediately like really grab my each one of my butt cheeks and like make me want to go in immediately um but i think just seeing some of the characters and how much love and attention they put into them is is really enough for me to like be like dude this is just seeing what they wanted to do. obviously like i feel like the, the exact same way when injustice one came out right who did i play when injustice one came out if anybody remembers <clears throat> played batman because i just didn't wow 
animated series reference. Batman TAS, yeah. Holy crap, dude. Of course, Batman has a dive kick. And he can angle it. What? Whoa. Of course, Batman can angle a dive kick. Jeez, dude. I love the ways these characters move. Can I just say that? Uh... Somebody, somebody give the lead character animator a raise. And the nice thing is that it's, it's different than, it's a different animation style than Smash. It's very Warner Brothers-y, you know? It's very like classic, classic like cartoon animation style. Lots of, lots of squash, lots of stretch, not a lot of tweening, right? Like really key, like a lot of key poses type stuff. That's what, that's the, the big standards of classic animation, which is ideally what Warner Brothers has like a huge history in, you know? Everyone's telling me to check out Velma. I have to check out Velma. Oh, this character is definitely somebody's kink. Oh, 100%. I get it. Don't worry, I get it. I understand. I get it. I know how the internet works. All right. So she's like a zoner in some way. Oh, she is essentially Phoenix Wright? You gotta find clues? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Evidence is popping out of him. I'm glad that they weren't afraid to get to do some pretty wacky concepts here. Damn, there's going to be some sh movement in this game. He gets kidnapped. The cops jack you? Oh, that's really cool. You can call the cops if you get enough evidence against somebody? Yeah, you can tell that they had some fun making this game. That's, the, yeah, 100%. Am I gonna go through all characters? Well, I really wanna play. I mean, uh, I'm very curious to see how the entire online experience sort of holds up.